Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Gail King found a fun way to express her frustration with 10 people in her office asking her how her BFF of 48 years, Oprah Winfrey, was doing following her over-publicized trip to the emergency room on Monday for a stomach virus and dehydration. The 69-year-old CBS News chief anchor, who boasts 1M Instagram followers, donned a black t-shirt on Wednesday emblazoned with the announcement, Oprah is fine. Thank you for asking. She appreciates your concern. Gail's mini-scandal started Tuesday when she attempted to explain to the CBS Mornings audience why the 70-year-old owned CEO couldn't join her on the show to announce that her summer book club pick was David Robluski's newly published novel Familiaris. She had some kind of stomach thing, stomach flu, stuff was coming out of both ends, King announced during the broadcast. I won't get too graphic. Needless to say, she ended up in the hospital, dehydration, had to get in four. Hours later, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover model shared her video call with Oprah, who confirmed she wasn't mad at her about the oversharing, insisting, I was too weak to get on the plane. I'm not 100, I'm on my way to a 100, Winfrey updated. Five people in my household had the same thing. Gail later sarcastically noted, everyone that I've ever known and has access to my email has called me to say, are you all right? Thanks. Some people in the comments wondered whether the Mississippi-born billionaire's illness had any correlation to the semaglutide injectable she admitted she was on last December in order to finally reach her 160 pounds goal weight after once topping the scales at 237 pounds. Other celebrities who've admitted to taking semaglutides include Kelly Clarkson, Whoopi Goldberg, Rebel Wilson, Elon Musk, Chelsea Handler, Amy Schumer, Sharon Osbourne, Cheryl Underwood, Lauren Manzo, Dolores Catania, and Galnisa Gigi Garakadagi. But for every celebrity who admits to Ozempic, there's many more who've remained suspiciously silent while suddenly slimming including Lizzo, Mindy Kaling, Melissa McCarthy, Khloe Kardashian, Lana Del Rey, Christina Aguilera, and Patricia Arquette. The injectables, which could cause yet-to-be-known long-term effects such as pancreatitis, can cost $25 per month for qualified patients under insurance, but it costs anywhere between $600 and $1,300 for a month's supply of four weekly pens out of pocket. Ozempic, Wegovy, Rebelsis, Munjaro, and Victoza should only be prescribed to severely overweight patients suffering from type 2 diabetes, and only one of them, Wegovy, has been approved for weight loss by the FDA in 2021. King and Oprah famously spent the night together the first time they met in 1976 due to a Baltimore snowstorm, but they are not lesbian lovers. I understand why people think we're gay, Winfrey admitted to O Magazine way back in 2006. There isn't a definition in our culture for this kind of bond between women. So I get why people have to label it, how can you be this close without it being sexual? I've told nearly everything there is to tell. All my stuff is out there. People think I'd be so ashamed of being gay that I wouldn't admit it? Oh, please. The Emmy and Tony winning producer's partner since 1986, motivational speaker, Stedman Graham, was last pictured behind both her and her bestie in a family Christmas portrait. Gail mothered two children, daughter Kirby, 38, and son William. 37, from her 11-year marriage to Concrete Rose Capital partner Bill Bumpus, which ended in 1993. Oprah will next act in Tyler Perry's upcoming World War II drama 6 888, which premieres later this year on Netflix. It's based on Kevin M. Heimel's 2019 World War II History Magazine article about the all-black, all-female 6,888th Central Postal Directory Battalion sorting over 17 M pieces of mail ahead of time. 6888 also features Kerry Washington, Sam Waterston, Susan Sarandon, Greg Sulkin, and Dean Norris. Last year, President Joe Biden signed the bill for the 855 female mail carriers to receive the Congressional Gold Medal, 